Two different homes were struck by lightning within 15 minutes over the weekend. Those homes caught fire. Crews were able to put those flames out. News for Jack's meteorologist Janice Harris takes a look at the damage and the one device that could help protect your home during a storm. Thunderstorms are common in Florida. Florida gets the most lightning strikes in the country. Firefighters were battling fires at two houses struck by lightning back to back within 15 minutes as strong storms move through this weekend. Last year, JFRD responded to eight fires caused by lightning. This year, 10. And the storm season isn't over. I went back to the scene of the River Knoll Drive fire, but the owner did not come outside. The middle of the home is covered in a blue tarp from fire damage. No one was home during the fire. Lightning peaks during the summer along with storms. During the weekend, this was actually one of two homes struck by lightning. The one fire was at River Knoll Drive and the other was at Highland Glen right off of Beach Boulevard. <laughs> JFRD says lightning strike fires can be challenging because you may not see fires showing immediately. What happens with these fires, they're a little tricky for us because the energy from the lightning travels and it'll you don't know where it's going to end up. It's usually in an attic space. It's in somewhere where there's a little mix of air, dust and everything, and it can smolder for a while. One way to protect your home is by installing a lightning rod. The purpose is to have the lightning strike the rod instead of your home. It's best to have an electrician install it. If you hear thunder roar, Go indoors, and if you think your home has been struck by lightning, call 911 immediately. Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.